right everybody i'm back and finally doing a review on the z5 i've had this thing for a couple months now so here it is finally there's already a bunch of videos of me paddling it so check out those videos if you want to see it on the water i usually do an initial review and, and uh a review after i didn't have a chance to really do an initial review but here it is i'll say this is one of my favorite boats right now just getting that off my chest already the overall quality of, of that boats, besides the Chili, which has some wonky outfittings, but all the other boats, the, the quality of the outfitting and plastic and everything like that is just superb. I have to say it's one of the best boat companies overall as far as quality and design and performance and all that comfort. It's just that that's nailing it right now. And they're actually one of the cheaper companies, so there you go. Anyway, so let's start at the bow here. You got a nice grab handle here with some really nice bolts and they flush out which is also a sign of good quality really solid plastic and i mean i've had nothing wrong with this boat i've paddled it a lot now and i've heard other people say the plastic is just super bomber so anyway so let's just move back to the back here you get two grab handles here super solid again grab handle in the back and a drain plug the cool thing about this drain plug is if you didn't know they make it so like if you lose this actual cap here, you can use like a Pepsi bottle or whatever, any sort of cap that can go on there. Like, I mean, you find those things all the time on the river. So there you go if you didn't know that. And it's pretty much recessed all the way down. So it won't, won't get hit or anything when you're on the water. Um, very minimal holes in the boat. The only four you have are these. One, two here, and one, two on the other side. Again, they have these nice flush washers where the screw goes down inside the washer so it's nice and flush and recessed. The outfitting on these boats, oh man, it's so good, so good. I would say it's my favorite on the market right now for sure. Um, you know, Dagger had some stiff competition and Waka's newer outfitting with the goats and stuff is pretty good too. But I have to say this is most comfortable and just solid outfitting. Now, don't do what I did. I'm an idiot. When I, You do not have to take these things all the way off. You literally loosen, them, loosen these up and just slide them, slide them like that. I don't know what I was doing before. Um, anyway, so I don't really like this plastic right here necessarily. They could do without that if they could find some way it kind of i don't know it gets kind of weird with these with tightening them up and stuff like that but small little negative thing there but the back band is super comfortable and solid keeps you in place nice very comfortable again you got a rope back here to attach things to um you can have adjustable right here up and down the thigh thigh braces as you see go all the way up in there they're foam seat is also foam and if it's too high for you you can you know you could sand that down with sandpaper or whatnot to get it to where you want to be but for me it's perfect in my size place for a throw bag or big water bottle another place for a water bottle throw bag whatever you want to put right there the ratchets are smooth go inside this plastic so they don't hit your skirt i guess that's one thing i like about dagger and prana they go up right there um but yeah, nice and smooth ratchets. And these are super easy to adjustable. You just loosen these up, slide them back and forth where you want them. Um, let's see what else. Nice flip foam flip box there. Very comfortable. I'll get in and kind of show you here. Let's see. I'm 5'9 and I got it on the four, four back or whatever. Should be out of here getting my shoes on. anyway they're super solid in there once you get in there so you talk about no flex compared to the to tia as far as i can press it barely moves so it's nice and rigid and tight very comfortable i could sit in this thing all day long very comfortable quick walk around of the boat just real quick i forgot to do that in the beginning sorry about my shadow Now I'm going to do some measurements. The specs will be on the screen, of course. About 15 inches, a little less, for bow rocker. Stern rocker. Got about nine, looks like, nine inches. 
And across looks about like eh, seven. That's seven. And then up and down it looks about like four, three and a half, three and a half, four, something like that. It's nice and flat back here. Little hump kind of behind your hips right there, but this is nice and flat. And in the front, kind of the same deal, flat, flat. And a rounded off nose that goes off rocks really well. Let's flip it over. So, as you can see, it doesn't really have like a defined edge necessarily. It's more of a displacement hole, I would say, than anything. Um, does have some planting hole to it though. Um, but as far as like the roundness of it, it's more like a displacement hole. As you can see there, that's the plastic's holding up really good. But yeah, uh, not much to the underside of the boat here, like I said. So what my recommendations are on this boat, I absolutely love it. It's a great boat. It's all around just a good boat for a lot of things. It's good for creaking. It goes off rocks and it boosts really nice with this kind of displacement hole and rounded nose there. It's pretty forgiving. Uh, overall, it's pretty forgiving. It's easy to roll. I've had no trouble rolling it or anything like that. It goes through holes nice. Now, it doesn't have the bow rocker like the new boats, but it's got enough to pretty much get you over everything. And it's fast. It's fast off the gate. It's fast once you get going. So you could use it as a race boat. You know, it's not like a Nirvana. I would take it on big water, no problem. Like I said, it's fast. And you can get a lot of power and speed out of it. So it'll help you get through holes on big water as well. But for creaking, like I said, it is forgiving with the rounded edges and the rounded nose and stuff like that. So like I said, you can use this boat for anything. As far as size wise, I think I like it because it's like one of those Schmedium boats. A lot of the Zet boats are the Chili and this. They're both kind of in between that small medium range. So for me, it fits perfectly because most true smalls are just too, a little too small to go through those big holes for me where this, this makes it happen. And the mediums are just way too big for me. So this is a perfect boat for someone my size. Like if you're in that like 125 to like 150 range, great boat, great boat. Um, I will say the one thing, it does get offline occasionally. It has a tendency to kind of go wild on you. If you're not careful, you do have to drive it. It's not a lazy boat. Now it's not like a 9R where you have to be on your game like pretty much constantly. But if you if you aren't like kind of paying attention to your edge and aggressively paddling, it can get offline on you. But other than that, it does take some getting used to paddling, I guess, um, with that in that regard. But it's a pretty good boat for I would say you know the moderate you know in between paddler into advanced paddler. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a beginner boat. It could be, it could be, it's not horrible, um, but it does require some of that drive and aggressive paddling style. So, you know, take it what you may. I wouldn't necessarily put a beginner in it, but it wouldn't necessarily be a horrible boat either. But yeah, if you're in that intermediate advanced paddler to, you know, extreme good paddler, this boat will work great for you. And like I said, I really don't have anything negative to say about it. It's it's a fine boat. It's the, their Zets are priced great. And the outfitting and everything is super quality. The Zet guys are super nice if you talk to them. I have nothing bad to say about this company. Like the only, the only negative like I said about this boat in particular is it has a tendency to get offline a little bit without displacement hole and get a little wild occasionally. But yeah, I totally recommend it. If I had to do a one out of 10, I would give this probably a nine. 9.2 uh, somewhere around there i'm going to do a video coming up kind of comparing this the small code small scorch and the tatia i do want to paddle that tatia first before i do that video so might be a little bit but uh i will get that out to you but yeah check out my videos panel on the five and if y'all have any questions or concerns comment like please um i love comments talking to people so yeah if you got any experience in the five negative positive let me know and zet appreciate the boat and I uh, appreciate you guys for being a good company. Take care. I'll see you on the water.